Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today, you're gonna be getting ready with me. We're gonna be getting ready for church and then after church, I'm gonna be going to the brand new Durango Casino and Hotel with one of my friends. And yeah, so we're gonna get ready. Let's hop on in. So we're gonna be using today the Orgy palette. I want to do, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was called the Fox look. And I'm going to recreate that look for church today. Couldn't exactly figure out how I wanted to do my makeup, but that's what we're gonna go with. So first things first, we're gonna go in with the Estee Lauder for this primer. It's a really good hydrating primer. I absolutely love it. It feels just like a moisturizer. It's very hydrating, creamy, you name it. I love it. Then we're gonna go in with our eye cream, the Super Bloom. Now I got something from Shein that I want to try. And we'll see if it helps with that foxy eye look. And of course, you know, we have to go in with our P. Louise. This is the base in shade Rumor 0.5. I swear, this is a holy grail product. It absolutely has a chokehold on me. And I got a lot, so I'm gonna go over here to this side and put some down. I think I was just so excited about telling you guys how much it, this product is a holy grail for me that <laughs> I just had too much. Now, I don't have Gus in here this morning only because he was being a little bit of a turd and, and he was just playing too rough with Bob. Bob wasn't having it. Bob didn't really want to play this morning. So I have them separated so I could film a video with you guys. I'm really excited about going to the Durango. My friend has never been, they just opened it, and I went out about a month ago, I'd say, dancing with one of my girlfriends, went dancing out there, and we had a really great time. We are good. However, I think because it is a lot of product that I put on there accidentally, Oh, we might have to work overtime to make sure it doesn't crease. We're gonna go in with a shade implant. First though, I need to make sure I get all the creases out, but I'm gonna load this, I'm gonna load this bad boy up with the shade implant. So I really like the Durango. It's the first casino that actually has, well at least the first casino here in Vegas, that has windows over by all of the gambling. Usually the trick in Vegas is that you don't have windows and they don't have clocks because they want you to stay gambling as much as possible. It's like an old school trick back when they, you know, this place was ran by the mob, so. They or mafia. I don't know what the difference is, mob or mafia. So they wanted people to gamble more and spend more money without realizing it. So they didn't put they didn't put windows in. And Durango is actually bright and shiny and just beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing. And it actually has windows by the slot machines. We're gonna go in with our tried and true. This is the NYX Brow Pencil in Cool Ash Brown. Now I know you guys have been asking for a beginner's guide of how to, and that is coming. And I'm excited to show you guys. Now of course this is how I do my makeup and how I have learned over the years on how to do things. So 
please don't take it for gospel because makeup as you hopefully know by now is subjective you can do your makeup how you feel that you like it how you feel your best because that's the purpose of makeup makeup is to make you feel how you want to feel like do you want to show the world that you're happy sad emo and so you can do your makeup in all kinds of ways to to make yourself happy and look your best and that's the whole purpose and it's just to, you know make you feel good make you feel how you want to feel and express yourself do you remember the song from madonna express yourself that's what i always think of now for some reason i'm a little patchy today with my brows i don't know what's going on i'm gonna use this little mirror here this little compact so i went to the eye doctor the other day and luckily my prescription has not changed from last year's prescription so i am happy and so i used my benefits to get a pair of sunglasses prescription sunglasses because i do not have one and i'm very happy and i used my flex spending account and paid for them which made me happy of course because <laughs> technically yes that's money that i've put in but you know you always want to make sure you use it so you don't lose it because it's really easy for the end of the year to come and you not know it and then suddenly you're like oh gosh like i have to i have to like flex spend this or use it or whatever it's called <laughs> flex spend it <laughs> who am i all right these brows are gonna have to do i don't know why they're not cooperating with me this morning but it is what it is y'all all right for our main event this eye look is more on the neutral side of things, so we're gonna keep it very neutral. We're gonna go in with the shade Safe Sex and just pop it just a little bit. And don't worry, because we will blend this out. Don't fret, my friends. So I know some of my friends have asked me for more of my ghost stories that they've not heard so i will tell this will be a creepy one so when i was little the house that we lived in for several years it was in hopewell virginia and the house was old it was a Sears and Roebuck, I think that's how you pronounce it, Roebuck home. And it was one of the houses back in the day that you could actually order from the Sears catalog. And it was like a, almost a prefab. They would bring the house in pieces and put it together. And um, it was a beautiful little Tudor. Tudor, T-U-D-O-R, Tudor, Tudor, tu whatever, a Tudor house. And I'll try to find some pictures and I'll post it on my Instagram because it might take me a minute before this video drops. So that house was in a way a historic home and there was a ghost in it. I don't know why we always called it a man, but we always did. We always called it a, a guy. So upstairs, there was a door that would, um, I don't know if it's called an accordion, but it had two panels and when you would open it, they would come together like this and then you would close it and it would go back out like this. Like, like you'd open it and then you'd close it. Hopefully that makes sense. That, we didn't have central air conditioning in this house. So the house didn't have central air. So it wasn't from the air conditioning turning on, but that door, my cousin and I would watch that door just straight up open and close, open and close, open and close. And it wasn't in a menacing way. Oh, sorry. We're gonna go in with the shade Versatile. 
concentrating on that crease. And so we didn't find it, it wasn't threatening, but it just kept opening and closing. Almost as if just to be playful and be like, hi, I'm here. And, and so we just, we never felt threatened. It was just one of those things. So for the love of goodness. So the door would open and close, open and close. And then there were times when we got our first computer. I would think that my mom was talking to my dad in Korea because sometimes she would stay up late because of the time difference. So she could tell him, I think it was good morning or whatnot. She would stay up a little bit later, type on the computer and email uh, back and forth or IM each other through AOL. We're gonna go with the shade bottom. And so I would think that because her bedroom, her and my dad's bedroom were on the bottom, like the first floor. And our bedroom was, my bedroom was up top. Um, and so I heard her one night typing away and it was really keeping me up. And so I went to go in to tell her like, mom, I'm like, you're being loud tonight, typing away. Like click, 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 click on the computer. I walked in, she was not in there. So I walked downstairs and she's sleeping soundly in her bed. So you're supposed to be able to use this to guide where your eyeliner is supposed to go. And then you're, you can use it oh, this way to apply your eyeliner, which I just will have to be very gentle. We're gonna go in with the MAC shade Teddy so that was like one one of the other times so then we had this train I'm like afraid of it hurting my lashes so I'm not gonna do that um it's just easier for me to do this so we had during Christmas time we had this train that we would put around the Christmas tree and one year we just didn't get batteries for it, whatever. And we just we just didn't get batteries. I really don't know why, um, but we didn't. We didn't have the batteries for it, and we just, just had it for decoration, pretty much. So we wake up, and we wake up to the sound in the middle of the night. Choo-choo! Y'all tell me if it, like, two, three o'clock in the morning, that ain't the scariest sound y'all ever heard so we hear that and we're like what the heck so i come downstairs and my mom was like what the heck is going on we're gonna go in the the shade invitation only and smudge that out uh we're both like oh my goodness so then if you put i forget what it was that you could put into the train but it would blow out smoke and <laughs> All of a sudden, this thing is blowing out smoke. Blowing out smoke, just choo-choo. We're both like, oh my goodness, this is, holy cow, right? So, honestly, I don't know why the eyeliner went easier on easier on this side. So, we're both just freaked out at this point. We're like, okay, this is like, this is weird. I'm gonna use what's left on my brush here because we're gonna go in with with a paler shade because I just really want more of a halo effect. I kind of may open my eye a little bit. So we're both freaked out, just like what the heck is going on. We're gonna go in with the shade Teach Me. I think I want that one. So yeah, we're both freaked out. No, this is not turning out exactly how I wanted it to, but never fear my friends, we will figure it out. So my mom's like, you can just sleep in bed with me tonight. And even though she will tell you that it was for me, I know it was also for her because who would not be scared by that? So we, we definitely were a little freaked out by that. Actually, I think I want to go in with Silk Robe. It's more of a pinky neutral shade. So 
one time my mom was, she was getting ready for work and she couldn't find her keys. Her keys were just nowhere to be found. So she starts panicking because she's like, I'm about to be late for work. Like, where are my keys? She always kept them in the same place all the time when she came home. So she would put her keys in the same spot and they weren't there. So she is just in this panic, can't find them. She thinks, well, maybe Rebecca took them. And she thought, well, you know, let me go look up in her room, in her playroom, whatever. Let me just try to go find them. She's looking all over the place. She can't find them. She's getting in even more of a panic. She's like, I gotta get going. She finally at the top of the stairs is like, okay, enough is enough, quit playing. I really, I need, I need my keys. I need to go. I need, I gotta get to work. She walks downstairs and exactly where she keeps her keys, there her were her keys. Again, <laughs> would you not freak out by that? Cause it's just, uh, okay. So we never felt threatened. We always thought he was, he was playful and just playing around. But I think he got mad when we moved because my aunt and uncle rented the house from us when they first got married. We're gonna go back in with that shade back in with that shade invitation only and do the little smudging and so my aunt would tell my mom like what the heck it sounds like somebody is upstairs like a bird or somebody is upstairs just flying around hitting the walls just flying flop, flapping around and my mom's like well is there a bird like do you need to call like animal control or something and she's like I went up there and there was nothing so it was almost like he got angry and upset that we left and just decided to terrorize my aunt all right we're gonna go back in with the shade top let's do top actually but I love that house it was a beautiful house and I'm sure there's more stories that I'm forgetting but I definitely did not like the basement. I will tell you all that. I was not a fan of the basement. I did not want to go down there for anything, nor did my mom. She was just like, nope, nope, nope. She was definitely team not going to the basement. <laughs> that house, you know, I'm sure there's things. Oh, 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 I remember a thing my mom told me. My mom told me that one time when I was, when I was at a sleepover, we're just gonna blend it with a fluffy brush with nothing on it. Um, she did tell me that all of a sudden at three o'clock in the morning, both smoke detectors upstairs and downstairs just went off simultaneously. And it kept going off every time she would go and push the button to get it to stop, it would start up again. And so it kept doing that and she's like, I'm exhausted at this point. So she finally yells at it and says, enough is enough. I am tired, I wanna go to sleep. Like just knock it off. And it stopped <laughs> so do you guys have any ghost stories of your own if you do write in and tell me and if you'd like of course with your permission more than happy or if you just want to share it with me and you don't want to share it with the world perfectly fine too so this is the foxy eye look I definitely am loving it I'm not loving this though I've been trying to kind of blend it a little bit, but no avail. I am not able to, so it just, it's kind of this, this funny little, maybe I got it. That Madonna song has, is in my head now, express yourself. But I definitely, definitely believe in ghost spirit whatever you would like to call them. I definitely believe just had a lot of experiences in my life that have not made sense. And now, so I'm definitely a believer. And now I enjoy going and, and ghost hunting. So we're gonna go in with the La Roche Posse. I don't know why I said it like that. 
uh, but it is the tinted moisturizer and I don't think there's really a shade and I'm not sure if this is mineral or not. I never know how to tell. So if you guys do, please help a sister out. We'll just do it in little chunks. How about that? So I don't get too much on me. Now I do have sunscreen already underneath. So hopefully that doesn't come through with that white cast that sometimes, sometimes sunscreens do. I'm excited for church today because we got new hymns. Well, a few more hymns added, like not a whole new, not a whole new album, but <laughs> just some more to add. So I'm excited. I think we're gonna sing one of the new hymns today. So very excited about that. I got a friend request on Facebook from one of the girls that was a missionary here and was one of the gals that was giving me my lesson, would come over, was so helpful and wonderful. She's one of two that came over and they were there for my baptism. So I'm very, very, very happy about about getting a friend request from her because her mission is over and now she is back home. Just in time for the summer, right? I don't know if she could take another summer here. <laughs> Summers here get really hot and people think the best time to come here is during the summer, which if you're okay with the heat and you just stay hydrated and you're more apt to maybe do some exploring at night and enjoy the pool at your resort, during the day absolutely come on but i have to warn people like you need you need to be prepared that this heat it is so easy so so easy to become dehydrated and not even realize it because you don't really sweat in a dry heat it gets evaporated that's what I wanted to happen. He's driving me nuts. The only reason I don't like doing that with my fingers is because they end up getting all. Now we do need to go in with our spoolie and some micellar water, clean up my lashes. Which honestly I should have done this before I put down this sunscreen, but sometimes I forget just chatting it up with you guys. I always say that as if like they're gonna listen to me. I'll have to wait for those to dry a little bit more. Cause they're all like sticking together. Now we are gonna go in with the Hourglass, one of their baked blushes. This is in the shade Ambient, I believe. Don't quote me cause there's, <laughs> there's a bunch of names on the bottom here and I'm not exactly sure what is what? I remember a few years ago when baked blushes had a choke hold on us. And we're gonna go in with the Wayne Goss palette. We're gonna use his bronzer and just tap in here and rub it around. And for this look, we're just gonna do uh, lip gloss just because this look doesn't need it's it's not fall winter so we don't need a heavy lipstick just just something light I not mean to clip that onto that so I'm gonna go in with the Seat London the watermelon burst setting spray and I'm liking the way this for sure is smelling. Uh, it smells just like watermelon candy. It's kind of my ride or die right now with the summertime. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is in the shade Pink Punch. Now the lip injection has 
know what it is in, inside of it, but it gives your lips, uh, it plumps them up temporarily. I guess that all the blood rushes to it. So that way your lips look a little bit fuller. So let's, we can do a comparison side by side. I'm supposed to start feeling a tingly thing here, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to go get ready for church, do my hair, and I'll pop back in and I'll pop back in and give some final thoughts. But as always, you know, I'll pop back in later at the end of the day and show you guys how this look wore down throughout the day. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm all ready for church. I did curl my hair a little bit so you can see my new do. I'm back blonde. <laughs> It feels so good to be back. It's taking me a while. The girls that I go to, they are so good, but they're so busy. So you have to get in in advance and just had a lot of life stuff come up. So I had to push back my appointments, but finally I got in and my hair looks amazing. This eye look looks amazing. So I am definitely loving this foxy look. It is a nice neutral but still beautiful, glamorous <laughs> kind of look. So I hope you guys love this get ready with me and the stories that I shared. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me and the algorithm in here on YouTube and helps me grow. And you know, the dogs, they would love that. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified each and every time that I drop a video. See you guys in the next one. A get ready with me clap. A beginner's guide how to. Bob. Sorry, my mom's texting me. She's like, are you okay? Yes, Pamela. I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> Where's Bunny? Can you go find Bunny for me? <laughs>